So today I'm gonna review the spider coaches bibs that I bought for my trip last year, last year, last month. <laughs> I'm in Florida now, but I just came back from Maine. I went on a snowmobiling trip uh, in late February, early March, and uh, we had a great time. I bought some new spider gear this year to, uh, to use. Got these spider coaches bibs. These are not really intended to be ski bibs or snowmobiling bibs. They're kind of like, um, they're called coaches pants. So they're made to use like in the pits and in all kinds of other areas. But the reason that I bought them is because they're sort of tactical cool looking for one thing. The other thing is the storage and the versatility. So they're not as, they don't have as much thin slate as a normal set of snowmobile bibs. They only have, I think 80 grams of thin slate and you'd find normally about 50 grams of thin slate in a pair of ski pants. And you'd find anywhere from 100 to 200 grams of thin slate in a pair of snowmobile bibs. But they're not as dense. They do have Cordura nylon in the knees and on some of the pockets and at the bottom where you'd have or you'd need abrasion resistance. Like if you were getting down on your knees to check the oil, or put gas in a sled, or look at the skis or the track, say something got caught in there. So you're not going to ruin your bibs or tear anything. They have these big thick pads. And the only reason I'm holding this up because I know we're limited on how low the, the camera view is. But they have these big thick pads. I don't know if you can see them, but they're thin enough to where they don't obstruct your movement or your agility. And the other thing that's really cool about these is there's plenty of these outer secondary pockets. Now these aren't waterproof and windproof, but when you get off, like for example, if you went to a place like this, this is a place in Maine that we snowmobile to in the winter time, and you wanna enjoy the view and you get off the sled, maybe the sled's still running or you have like a little exhaust hot dog cooker <clears throat> and you have the sled idling, you don't want to put your gloves on the on the seat of the sled because the vibrations can knock them off. And if there's deep powder, next thing you know, you got a bunch of snow inside your glove and they're wet. The cool thing about these is they have these cargo pockets that are really big. Now these aren't meant for, for carrying stuff in here on long rides because they're not protected from the elements. The other pockets are. But you can stick your gloves in here when you stop and walk around. Or if you take your helmet off and you've got your balaclava and neck warmer and you want to take that off and you want to make sure that it doesn't get knocked off somewhere or somebody bumps it and knocks it into the snow off a ledge or a snowmobile seat, you just stick them in here on either leg and you can literally walk around with the stuff right there and it's awesome. The other thing that I really like about these is the internal storage. Now this is waterproof and breathable. Put your phone, your wallet, your keys, anything, uh, or if you read my blog, cleverleverage.com, you can see that I put my GoPro Hero 4 Session in here because it kept freezing in the cold <clears throat> and I thought that this would keep it warm and it did but it ended up being just a malfunctioning camera and uh, not suitable for that, that type of cold weather. But the other thing about this is this tactical pouch right on the front. It's got everything from like a sheath holder to uh, a lens holder on the back that you can flip up. Like if you're a camera guy or you wanna carry your electronics close to your chest inside your jacket so they're 100% protected from the elements, this is the set of bibs for you. I've never seen anything else like this on the market. <clears throat> the tan ones of these look like shit. You can find the tan ones of these uh, all over the place on the internet to buy. But the black ones are pretty slick. They look really awesome. Of course, it's got <clears throat> side entry. Everything is padded. There's mesh in the back for a little bit of breathability at the top in case you sweat. And then there's also five vents. Let me see if I can show these. I know we're limited on camera height, so I'm trying to do my best to make sure that this is in the frame. There's mesh thigh vents. So if you do get hot or you're working on something and you start sweating, you can open these, which kind of run up the leg right here and close those and they're waterproof and breathable uh, when they're in the closed position. The other thing that makes these perfect uh, snowmobile bibs <clears throat> is the half leg zippered entry. So for me, I can't wear, I don't like to wear, I could. I don't like snowmobile pants for, um, Jeez, I'm saying everything backwards today. I don't like ski pants or ski bibs to wear snowmobiling because when I get ready in the cabin before we go out, I like to put all my gear on and then put the boots on last. And one of the things that makes that really easy is having uh, zippered legs or at least a half zippered leg. So you've got your under layer on, you've got your base layer on, you've got your mid layer on and you put your socks on. You slide these pants on, you get everything situated. You can just simply put your boot on, lace them up, <clears throat> zip this down and then take the, actually I should have done it in reverse so you can see, take the snow skirt, snap it closed. That'll keep the snow out of your boots. <clears throat> if you have a cleat hook to keep these pulled down, hook that on. And then you can simply zipper this closed and adjust the snap. And 
that makes it super easy to put your snowmobile boots on and off and i wouldn't want to wear a set of ski pants that didn't have these so that was definitely a sure win for the spider coaches bibs other than that these are pretty straightforward there's a ton of storage there is waterproof and windproof pockets right here there's also i'm trying to get to it but it's twisted there are is a key clip or um a visor clip or whatever you want to store and not lose there's one of those in there just like on the jacket I'm trying to think of what else and these are also padded and fleece lined so if you want to keep stuff in here like sunglasses or anything like that you don't want to get them scratched up they have awesome pockets for that okay let's go over some of the pros and cons i've, I've told you a lot about what i like about the, the, the bibs what um let's talk about a couple of the cons couple cons are if you're snowmobiling on really cold days there was only 80 grams of Thinsulate in here so you might get a little chilly I was cold once in them but I only had on a single base layer and it was like a compression fit super thin uh, cheaper thermals like from Target and I was a little bit chilly <clears throat> if I had the right base layer and mid layers on I wouldn't have been cold at all the most important thing is that you have a waterproof and windproof breathable outer shell these accomplish that <clears throat> other cons uh, trying to remember when I was wearing them the other cons there's only one other thing that I don't like all the bibs that I've had in the past they zip right down the front and kind of open up like overalls and they come off these have two zippers on the side again I'm being nitpicky here but I want you to know the, the, the true pros and cons to everything these have two zippers on the side so they sort of open up down the side which is a little it feels a little unorthodox when you get in and out of them for the first time other than that, I have loved these bibs. Uh, the pros <clears throat> from these Spider Coaches bibs that you might not find on other bibs, obviously, is the storage. You can't match the storage. No other snowmobile bibs are going to have storage like this. The other is the built-in knee pads. I really like this. There's extra abrasion, resi abrasion resistance here where it needs to be, but not here in the waist area to decrease your mobility. Uh, they're awesome pants. I would highly recommend them for, oh, the other pro is that I can wear these skiing. While not as ideal as ski pants, I have some North Face ski pants that would be a little bit more comfortable. These would work perfectly. So it's accomplished my goal of having one set of gear, a jacket, and a matching set of bibs that I can take snowmobiling, I can take skiing, I can take cross country skiing, downhill skiing, doesn't matter. And uh, highly recommended the Spider Coaches bibs. Um, Trying to think if there's anything else. I think that wraps it up. Hope that helps. If you have any questions about these bibs or if you've had an experience with them yourself, comment down below and uh, talk to you then.